Well, there is a, an ugly picture being painted in Parksville. The seaside community is known for its beauty, but in recent weeks, somebody has been putting their own mark on city streets and buildings. Graffiti bearing three distinct initials is appearing in tags everywhere, costing businesses thousands of dollars, and RCMP can't seem to track the tagger. CTV's Chandler Grieve has the story. They are just three letters that are popping up all over Parksville, but they're painting a much bigger negative picture for a city that prides itself on its image. A handful of individuals can cause a lot of grief by tagging private and public property. Police say a one-man army has declared a graffiti war on Parksville, tagging garbage cans, corner stores, and even the front of banks with the initials TDK. Yeah, we take a lot of pride in our premises here at the Credit Union, and um, it's obviously upsetting to see not only on our building, but other buildings around downtown Parksville. The owner of this workout facility recently painted the walkway alongside his building, only to have it covered in graffiti within days. He says the fight against tagging is starting to take a financial toll. For, so to do this alley, it was, uh, including paint, it was about $800. And it was probably a little bit of a deal because we knew somebody, but yeah, it wouldn't normally cost more than that. Just hope it goes away. You know, sometimes it's better, but lately it's been worse again. It did get better there for a while. Um, so we just keep repainting it. Parksville's Downtown Business Association offers stores in the downtown core two free graffiti removals after that. It all comes out of the store owner's pockets. But what may even be more costly than removing this graffiti is the negative image it's painting for Parksville, especially during the peak tourist season. It is our image and that is the impression that visitors get and right now we're in the height of our tourist season and we want to present ourselves in the most uh, spectacular way possible and you can plant all kinds of flower beds and you can do all kinds of wonderful things and then you have a big ugly tag right next to it and that's what draws the eyes. Police and bylaw enforcement officers are keeping track of the tags including the TDK tag but right now they don't know who's responsible for them. They're asking asking downtown businesses to report graffiti and, if possible, set up surveillance cameras. These vandals actually have a bit of a signature and you can see it in their tags and then hopefully uh, sooner or later we're able to nab them and uh, bring them to justice, so to speak. Police treat graffiti as an act of vandalism and the courts can impose a hefty fine or even jail time if anyone is caught tagging. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Parksville.